Hi, I'm Johnny Walker for Daily Extra, and I'm sitting here today with Michel Marc Bouchard, an acclaimed playwright, member of the Order of Canada, and the author of Tom at the Farm, set to open soon at Buddies in Bad Times. Hello, Michel Marc. Hi, Johnny. Great, thanks for being here. Mm. My pleasure. <laughs> so you've had several of your plays adapted for film at this point. Uh, Lilies by John Grayson, which is a beautiful movie. And, uh, and I think Christina the Girl King is currently a kind in development. Well, it, it, uh, it, it's, uh, it's done. Oh, it's, it's done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's time to release it. So. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought it was a long way to Trent. The girl. So let's talk a bit about Tom at the farm. In the story, Tom is a man from Montreal who comes to the funeral of his boyfriend in the country and then gets sort of drawn into a series of lies. But the family don't expect him yeah. because it was pretty sure then, and they have a, a proof then the, 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 the dead guy was in relationship with a woman. Mm -hmm. And the main concern of this play uh, was about homophobia. The idea came from an experience and one of my friends uh, uh, passed through. He lost his boyfriend and when he arrived at his apartment, his family-in-law was there and kicked out of the apartment. Oh, wow. And his grief and mourning was told. So uh, I was really shocked by the story and that's what you know, I decided to write Tomata Film. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are going to be coming to the audience of this show having seen the recent film by Xavier Dolan. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think the differences are between the version of the story that's in the movie and the version that's in the play? The ending of the movie is more maybe bringing more hope. At the end of the play, it's more tragic. And so I don't, I don't <laughs> give you, the, you don't give the punch, mm -hmm. but it's really different. Otherwise, the definition of the character is still the same, but his behavior is different. In the play, we have, we are in front of uh, his kind of a, everything he's thinking, he say it on stage. In the movie, he's more quiet, observer character. But I must say, it's the same DNA than I have in the play. So uh, I feel at home in, in the play and in the movie, so yeah. Right. Yeah. The film, in a, in a way, well, I think often in reviews, it's called a sort of suspense, thriller, yeah, yeah. or even a horror movie. Yeah, you're right. Do you feel like the play, is it a sort of a horror play or a, or a oh, thriller? Oh, it's a suspense. I must yeah. say the play is a suspense, but we, we, and that's great, you know, we like suspense. Well, I'm glad that Toronto audiences will oh, finally get our chance me too, me too. to, and to with, see it. With those amazing actors mm -hmm. and in the direction of Ida Holmes. So it will be a. I, yesterday I saw uh, the second readings and I was so thrilled and moved and hurt and it's so sexy. Uh, so uh, yeah, I was really pleased uh, and I said, oh my God, they are so good now. I hope they keep that until. <laughs> <laughs> the process of the end of the process of rehearsal. Thank you so much for talking with us today, uh, Michelle Mark, and uh, I'm excited to see Tom at the farm at Buddy's. Uh, me too. Me too. Thank you. Thank Great. you, Jay.